Well, you know, in <coughs> South Africa, we're just now getting into the market and uh, we're investing to uh, have a plant that to produce 2.2 million uh, metric tons. Uh, the way forward is that, you know, uh, we have a pan-African strategy of which we are now trying to at least invest here in South Africa. We've been at it for the last two years. And going forward, definitely I think we'll increase our market share. Uh, this is not the only plant that uh, we're going to build, we'll announce more in the future. Okay. Now, in terms of the market in South Africa, what are you targeting and how much more are we likely to see in terms of investment here? Well, you know, going forward, I'm sure we will target the maximum market share possible. I mean, it's not really good for me to lay my cards on the table right sure, now. Sure, sure. Uh, but, I mean, we'll target a real sizable, uh, you know, percentage of uh, the market. Which means taking on the biggest cement producer in, in South Africa at the moment, Pretoria Portland Cement. What kind of a strategy do you have to, do in, 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 to, to deal with that? Well, we have the financial power to do so, and uh, we'll look at doing so uh, when the time, you know, is ripe to do so. Yeah, I suppose once you're in South Africa, you have to look at the region as well, Southern Africa. Now we do know there's a lot of rebuilding going on in Southern Africa. We talk Angola, we talk Zimbabwe rebuilding, we talk Mozambique rebuilding. Is there a plan to get into those markets in the, in the future? Well, yes, it depends on where we have uh, the opportunity of investing. But right now, we are already uh, going to invest in Zambia. We're going to invest in uh, Tanzania, in Congo, Brazzaville, uh, Ethiopia and Senegal. But this area, we are going to invest in uh, almost about four countries, you know, and we'll finish our investment by 2013, of which Sepaku will come first at about 2012. Okay. And how much are you looking to spend in all those regions? Well, we have a total project cost of about 1.5, uh, uh, you know, 1.5, 1.7 billion dollars. And that's what we are going to uh, spend, you know, because we are doing them in phases. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one is actually to increase our capacity in Nigeria from 8 million tons to 20 million, of which we have already done so. I mean, by the next six months, okay. we'll add about 6 million tons into the Nigerian market. By end of 2000, by third quarter of 2011, we'll be at 20 million metric tons in Nigeria. What's the plan? What's the overall Africa plan? Well, the overall African plan for now, what we have is that by the year 2015 in Africa, we'll have 46 million metric tons in terms of uh, capacity, which will make us the biggest uh, cement producer in Africa. Uh, we're just talking about Sub-Saharan uh, Africa. We have not really talked about going to uh, North Africa yet. But as we have the opportunity, we will take those uh, opportunities up. Yeah, that's a serious jump up of our capacity, if I, if, I, if, 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 if I may say so. I mean, how much would you be spending in, the, in that whole process in total? Well, in the whole process, I think uh, we're going to spend, now we've spent already the money in terms of building up to 20 million uh, metric tons. Uh, going forward, I think we have something under $2 billion to spend. Okay, that's Additional. across the rest of the continent. Yes, and over you know, what in sub-Saharan uh, Africa. In sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah, in sub-Saharan Africa, because that's really our main market. Okay, and over what length of time are we talking about? We are talking about we we'll get to 46 uh, million uh, tons by 2015. You know, that's the latest. You know, 2015, and, and we'll achieve that. Sure, and North Africa. Ah, uh, well, North Africa. We are still looking at opportunities. Uh, Any time when they come up will take those opportunities. And that's why when you look at it, really, uh, looking at our main cement company, which is Dangote Cement, yeah. at the moment, really, we are debt-free. We don't owe any bank any money. So going forward, obviously, you know, we have capacity to leverage on what we have. Yeah. Now, tomorrow, we'll see the listing of uh, Dangote Cement. Uh, the biggest uh, listing, I think, in the Nigerian Stock Exchange, you're adding almost 30% of market capitalization. That's now, some people are saying your valuations are rather aggressive. What would you say to those people who have uh, this bit of concerns ahead of the listing? Well, you see, yes, people can say that, yes, the valuation is a little bit uh, aggressive, but, you know, they need to look at what we have on the table. Mm. Uh, going forward, when you look at what we are going to uh, have, this, uh, this financial uh, projection is that we're going to have 
about 116 billion naira, you know, uh, profit after tax. And then the following year, we're having about 255 uh, billion, uh, this in which is roughly about 1.8 uh, billion dollars. Because right now what we have is just about 8 million metric tons. Right. Next year, we're going to have 20 million metric tons. Mm. And if you look at it, the plant in uh, Igbeshi, which is not far away from Lagos, right. is replacing imports of about 4 million tons already. So we'll meet up with those imports. You know, uh, yes, it's a bit aggressive, but we'll meet those uh, targets. Yeah. Now, in terms of uh, that very aggressive growth plan, what does that say about the outlook for the Nigerian uh, construction and uh, building industry? Well, the outlook... What kind of an uh, outlook do you have? Uh, it's great. You know, going forward, uh, we believe that the Nigerian market will continue to grow. Uh, if you look at the last uh, four or five years, the growth in terms of cement uh, demand has been gone up for about 15%. Mm. But even at 10% is good enough. But you see, going forward, uh, you have to look at what you find. What do we have? In Nigeria, we have 18 million uh, deficit in, in houses. Right. And then, you know, we have a lot of government projects. We have a lot of private sector, you know, uh, projects, especially now that the government, they have started doing this PPP in right. terms of road, concession of uh, high roads which we believe is cheaper to do roads out of concrete than to do them out of uh, asphalt. Yeah. So I believe a lot of things will change. But we're not even taking those into our consideration. So if they come, that is a bonus.